patching time. Hey again, we're in part two. Now we're going to go through patching. And what a patch does is that it hides the lines that you don't want to see. For example, you can see my arm here right now. It has the two lines, one for the wrist and one for the end of the lower arm. Because of the positions where the upper arm is below my lower arm. Like this. I usually just put it in the same order it's supposed to be, so I usually twist them around because the hand is attached to the lower arm and the lower arm is attached to the upper arm. So we're going to make a patch by using the lower arm. And what we need to do is we need to make a copy of the lower arm. But before we do that, we have to edit the lower arm. So we have to convert the lower arm somewhat from its pencil strokes to its to a brush stroke because we need this fill here to become the patch for us so what i'm going to do is edit the drawing for the lower arm so i'm in the drawing layer now right and i'm going to convert my lines so first what I need to do is get rid of the fill because I don't want it. If you notice how it stays, and when I zoom in you'll see that what I have here is highlighting and going over the line here. So what I need to do is make sure it stops exactly at the line. That's why I need to convert these lines into brush strokes. You want know, I'll give you an example as to why. So let's say for example I copy the fill and I put it here on my overlay and paste it right I go to my camera view you notice how the line here it gets a kind of thinner from the arm to the from the hand to the upper arm so that's what we're trying to avoid so let me get rid of this let's come back here delete the fill zoom out Convert this to a stroke right here. The same operation in previous tutorials. Pencil to brush, and you see everything is just like this. Take a nice look. So when I highlight it, you can see that the line goes exactly and stops right here. It's not like one straight line going through something with thickness, but rather everything has become a brush stroke. So now we're just going to fill it in with the skin color. Make sure it's right there. And I got that. I'm going to copy this part and put it in my overlay art. You know these different pieces, these different types of art. There's overlay art, there's linear art, line art, there's color art, and underlay art. This one just shows line and color art. They kind of work like clear sheets. It's kind of like working with the layers only for the entire drawing itself. So I'm putting it on the overlay layer. So I'm pasting it. Okay, that's misplaced. Let me try that again. Copy, Control C, and paste. So I'm going to go back to my camera view and I have my patch. You notice how the thickness is well pretty much equal as, as it goes down. So now is where I duplicate my lower arm because I want the patch to be on top. So here's my network. I'm going to copy my lower arm, copy module lower arm and paste it. And now I'm going to put the patch there. And I'm going to attach this lower arm patch to the composite on top. So you notice how it comes up over here. I'm going to attach this to lower arm. So wherever I move the lower arm, the lower arm patch will follow. I'll just rename this one for your convenience. Patch. Just note how my network is set up. I'll spread it out a little more for you to see. And note how it's attached at the bottom down here to the composite. 
so what I need to do now is I need to go into my lower arm patch my patch and I'm going to go to the drawing here you see the vector options it says read overlay read line art read color art read underlay the only thing that we want to use for the patch is the overlay because we had put the fill color on the overlay layer so just hide all of this and close and you see my arm here looking all sleek and everything look at that hand isn't it absolutely marvelous not really but it's just for tutorial's sake all right so that is how you make a patch i hope that helps you enjoy take care god bless and you know when you really think about it in the book of job job went through some serious stuff yet he came out faithful so that's just a little encouragement for you christians out there god bless you keep the faith and remember to continue in his word bye peace out